Uh, I lived here 20 years. I met my wife here. I am a K-State grad. She's a KU grad. So it's a little house divided. So here we man Wildcat. Ah, jeez. Here we We moved in 2001 to McPherson, and that's where we live now with the family. But I did. I grew up in Wilson. Wilson is between Salina and Hayes on Interstate 70. And when I was a junior in high school, I was assigned this term paper. And I was researching this term paper, and I stumbled on the story of Wilson's greatest boys basketball team. This is the 1929 Wilson Dragons. And the basketball player in me wondered what it would have been like to play with those guys in that era. The bas basketball history person in me wondered who even remembered those guys. And it gave me an idea, maybe someday in my life I'd write these series of basketball history books that featured teams and towns, players and coaches in the state that perhaps have been forgotten with time. And I've written three books in the series. I've also written a series of newspaper columns. You may see them in the Lawrence Journal world. They're called Kansas Hoopla. And they're basketball history columns that could be starting up next week. So uh, I've written these newspaper columns. If you go to the Hillsboro Free Press, Dot com, Hillsborough, Kansas, they will carry all 20 of these columns, one per week. But you may see some of them in the journal world as well. So I've written these books. They are available today if you're interested. They're $25 a piece. That includes your sales tax. And I'll be happy to personalize the book for you. They do make excellent gifts, unique gifts. So if you have a basketball fan in your family, young or old, you might, you might consider the, the books as a gift. This is the first book. It was called Title Towns Class BB, Boys Basketball Champions of Kansas from 1952 to 1968. There are four classes of high schools in the state, AA, the largest, A, B, BB, double B, the very small schools in the state. This book takes you game by game through these 17 championship seasons. You follow these teams game by game from the first game of the year all the way to the state title. It's a who's who of some of the greatest small town high school basketball played in this state. No publisher would touch this book, so my books are self-published. And as one publisher said, do you have any idea, Stephen, how many people live in Quinimo, Kansas? And I said, yeah, I do. I know how many live in Quinimo. Do you, sir, know how many Kansans can trace their roots directly back to a small town somewhere in the state? who had great basketball, played in that town. So the book takes you through these magical seasons. It's more than just a book in, in the sense of covering the games. These games in these small towns were the social event. <laughs> Tuesday and Friday night, you cleared your calendar to be with your team. And if your team was a championship team like this, then you really cleared your calendar. And so this book takes you through this time. And in, in this era, Nearly every town in Kansas has its own high school. At one point, we had 700 high schools in Kansas. Today, we have, I think it's 367. So, so many schools that are listed in this book, champions and champions that wanted to be, they're gone. 